We're back now with His Eminence Francis Cardinal Arenzi, who is a member of our advisory council and author of this book that you now all have, Along Alone with God. We're now going to be giving you a preview for your first week meditation, and be from chapters uh, one through six. Your Eminence, uh, maybe you could um, get into those three Ps, those three errors that most of us fall into. Yes, the, these errors are people's practical answers to the question, what is the human being made for? Mm -hmm. Everyone agrees that the human being is made for happiness. Everybody wants to be happy. Mm -hmm. The saint wants to be happy. The sinner wants to be happy. The thief, the monk, the nun, the um, truck pusher, the truck driver, the aeroplane pilot, all of them want to be happy. Mm -hmm. But when we come to the practical question, in what does happiness consist? Mm -hmm. The answers are no longer the same. The answers are many. Of course, the correct answer, as in arithmetic, is mm -hmm. one. When we have wrong answers in a class of 30 students, there are many wrong answers. The wrong answers are as many as there are students who don't know arithmetic. Mm -hmm. But the correct answer is only one. And all those who have the correct answers have only that answer. We keep the correct answer later. The wrong answers can all be put under three headings, the three Ps. Mm -hmm. Those who think that I call them P, P, P. Those who have placed human happiness in possessions or in pleasure mm -hmm. or in power. Mm -hmm. It isn't that they necessarily go to a philosophy articulated in mm -hmm. book form or in words, but in practice they live it. Mm -hmm. There are those who have considered that if a person has possessions, the person will become happy. Mm -hmm. Not a little in terms of possession, but plenty. Right. Plenty of money, houses, estates, business, chains of companies, uh, chains of um, airline companies, then high rise. They think that if you have enough of these, mm -hmm. happiness will be achieved. Right. Uh -huh. Now, there is no need to see the problem out of focus. Money is useful. We need possessions. We need a certain amount of money in order to live a dignified life. Mm -hmm. House, um, school, family duties, social duties, and so on. We need a house. We need a car to move about. So we do need these. Mm -hmm. But it's quite another matter to say that when you have enough of any of these, then the person will become happy. Mm -hmm. Some of the proofs are Solomon, he was fabulously rich. He was so rich, he didn't know what to do with his riches. Mm -hmm. Gold was abundant, but Solomon didn't achieve happiness. In our own time, we can all think and reflect on rich people that we know or that we hear about. Mm -hmm. Not all of them are happy. S some of them commit suicide. Some of them end up their lives very badly. I won't name anybody because mm -hmm. there is no need. But all of us can think back. Whether moderately rich or fabulously rich, riches, material wealth have never made anybody happy mm -hmm. from the beginning of the world. And there is no hope of such making anybody finally happy. Mm -hmm. They can procure a bit of convenience but they will not satisfy the person in the long run mm -hmm. because God made us for something much more, much greater. Other mm -hmm. people are much more pedestrian. They have placed human happiness in pleasure. Mm -hmm. And what is it they mean by pleasure? By pleasure they mean, the, first, the pleasure of eating and drinking. That if they, they, they have only the correct type of food and quantity mm -hmm. and frequency, and the correct type of bottle, with the number of years the wine has yeah. uh, uh, matured, mm -hmm. as they say. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, we don't need to dwell long on that one. <laughs> you just go to the hospital or ask a doctor. Mm -hmm. The doctor will tell you. There is a limit. You go beyond that, you get into trouble from the doctor's point of view. Ever before we speak of the spiritual, let me leave that one. Everyone knows that no matter what you eat, after four hours you are hungry again, mm -hmm. which is a proof that it, it cannot give happiness. Mm -hmm. I say you are hungry again, presuming the person didn't get sick. Right. 
Others have placed their happiness on the pleasure of sex. They have imagined that the more of sex pleasure a person has, the nearer the person is to happiness. We do not also need to dwell long on that one. Indeed, Solomon is one example of such. Solomon, who was gifted with so much wisdom, he tried to get happiness from women, and he got them. He got 700 wives. Being a king, he could, his word was law. Then he had 300 concubines besides in grade B and 700 in grade A. That makes a thousand. Mm -hmm. What was he trying to, to get? Happiness. Mm -hmm. Did he get it? No. Not only he didn't get it, but he became stupid. God had gifted him with wonderful wisdom. And now, because of all those women, as the book tells us, Book of Kings, uh, third book of Kings, chapter 11, his heart was uh, uh, carried away to worship of idols. Mm -hmm. There, in full view of the temple of Jerusalem, a symbol of cult of the one God, Solomon was weak. Solomon became a colossal failure. Mm -hmm. There are others who are rather aristocratic. They are made of sterner stuff. They said that possessions, they couldn't care less. Pleasure, they, they see through it. It won't satisfy them. But they are aristocrats. They want to place their happiness on power. Mm -hmm. They want to be on top. They think that if they are at the head, they will become happy. They are ready to pay anything. Money, good name, health, rest. Anything, provided they are on top, provided they become famous. Will that make them happy? Not really. They only accumulate more problems. Of course, someone must be at the head. But the reason why the person is at the head isn't for personal enjoyment, but for service of the community mm -hmm. over which the person is at the head. In short, authority is for service, not for domination. Those who see authority as domination got the whole thing upside down. They will not be happy. And those they look after, they, they rule, as they say. Mm -hmm. I say look after. Those they should be serving. Mm -hmm. They want to be dominating those ones. Neither they nor those people will be happy because they have a wrong view of authority. You can make them anything. You can make them president of United Nations. You can make them pope, if you like. You can make them the head of a chain of companies. But they will not be happy. And those they should be serving will also not be happy. Those are wrong answers. Human beings are not made for them. And St. John, the apostle, put it all in his epistle. He says, in his letter of St. John, he says, Do not love the world, nor the things that are in the world. For all that is in the world is the concupiscence of the eyes, possessions, mm -hmm. the concupiscence of the flesh, pleasure, and the pride of life, power. Mm -hmm. He says that that's not what we are made for. Because we're really made for God, not for this world. You have said it. Mm -hmm. that's, God made us for himself. Right. And St. Augustine summarizes it. He said, oh God, you made us for yourself, and our hearts are never at rest until they rest in you. Mm -hmm. We are made for God. Nothing less than God can satisfy us. Mm -hmm. Nothing at all. They can give us momentary enjoyment. Even a spoonful of honey can give us a bit of pleasure at the moment, but it won't mm -hmm. make a person happy. Suppose, uh, let's take a, 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 a child and his mother died and his father died, and you tell him, we give you a spoonful of honey, and then mm -hmm. you become happy. <laughs> no, 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 no. That will not make him happy. We are made for God, mm -hmm. and nothing less than God can satisfy us. Creatures are good. No creature is bad. But God made the creatures to help us to reach him. In so far as a creature helps me to reach God, I am observing the divine order. Now, a creature is a person or a thing. Yes, a creature is a person or a thing. Mm -hmm. The more precious creatures are persons, of mm -hmm. course. My, my father, my mother, my brothers and sisters, and my friends, and indeed every human being. Mm -hmm. But also things. Money. Money, food, right. houses, mm -hmm. cars, books, university degrees, promotions. Mm -hmm. All those are good, provided that we use them 
as God meant them to be used. 